All right, guys, check this out. Ali's edit, my edit. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to edit like Ali Abdal style in CapCut PC. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do now is I prepared a little folder, so I'm gonna drag in my footage. First, we will start with this picture. So once we have this in here, of course, we wanna change the ratio because we're editing a short. We have to put nine by 16, um, and then we can just drag this big and adjust it. Just swipe it to the side. This looks good. Now what we want to do first is do a little zoom animation. So for that, we are going to put some keyframes in here um, and it's basically pretty simple. First, we have to click on this footage. Then you go here to position and size and go on the scale and add a keyframe. Then you drag your cursor a bit, click keyframe again. Um, and we're just going to zoom it in a bit. So it's a bit bigger. Now it should look something like this. And we can even adjust it and drag it here if we need that to be slower or anything. So that's the first thing we need to do to get this Ali Abdal style. Now the next step is this rip paper animation. And for that, you can basically just search up on Google rip paper um, with no background and you will find something like this. I will even link a folder in the description where you can find all the files I use in this so you can try along. Yeah, I will just go in here again. I have this right here and drag it in here. And now you can see I have this ripped paper in here and I will rotate it because we want it to be 90 degrees, of course. And we want it to fill out the whole screen. So I will scale it up a bit just like that. Now we, of course, want it to be coming in from down below and then going up. So for that, we need to mask it and let's do that now. So we want it to start at the first keyframe here. So you can drag it right above here. This should be good. In Ali Abdal's video, he has this shaking effect on it. So for that, we want to go on effects up here. We want to scroll all the way down to shake, then click on it and drag it over that footage. So. Now it's really, really shaky. So what we want to do is of course um, adjust that. So what we want to do now is of course make it less fast so you can put the strength down um, and also the speed and then it should look way better. Um, this is even still too fast. So I'll just put this down a little. And I think that looks okay. So now we of course want it to be coming from down below and then going up. So for that, we're going to put a mask on this. So to mask this, you basically just click on mask here and go on the split option. And then we will just quickly rotate it. So it looks something like this. So 90 degrees. Then we want to drag this down all the way down here. And now what we want to do is go to the first frame of this footage and make a keyframe on the position just like that. All right. So as I said, you want to put a keyframe in the beginning here like the first frame of this animation and then go a bit further and add another position keyframe and here you want to now drag it all the way up so it should look something like this so now we have this effect on here but to make it even a bit nicer we can add a little shadow to it so i think that's just what we're going to do now so what we do now is just click on this copy and paste it and make sure that it's aligned to the other one and now we go to the one that is below here and go onto the adjustments and here we want to put the saturation down and basically all of these things that give it color so put that down now if we go back here we want to now go to the basic setting of video and this one we want to move the position a bit to the side so i'm just going to say 15 and now as you guys can see in here there's a little shadow you can even put more if you want a bigger shadow i will just stick with 20 now um and then we have a little shadow to this animation. So that looks great. Now we are on to the next step. 
Now the main thing Ali Abdel uses in almost all of his videos is this cut out animation. So basically where he's just cut out in front of this footage. So let's do that right now. For that I have a an old footage of mine. So I'm just gonna open the folder again here and I'm just gonna drag it into CapCut. And yeah, there we have it. So this is just me talking into the camera. Um, not the highest quality, but you get it. it. It will do for the job. So now we will just adjust that. So it's a bit bigger again. Maybe this is not the best thing for this, but it will work. So of course I would recommend you to use high quality footage if you want to really achieve that Ali Abdal style. So now we will just move this up a bit and do, and then I, you can just select all and move it here. So now we have this as our background footage. So what I will do is basically just drag and drop it up here. So now it's up here and we can start editing that. So now what we want to do first is just duplicate this. So that's what I just did with control copy, control V. First of all, just disable this footage. You can do that with clicking on the V button. Um, and now we can go on here and we want to cut this out. So we're going to go on cutout and click on auto cutout. So now this will load and will take a bit. So once that is auto cutout, we can continue. So quick tip here, I just shortened that footage because we obviously don't need the whole footage and then it's going to be faster, of course. So now it's auto cutout, as you can see. With my hair right there, it looks a bit stupid, but it will do the job. So now we have that. Maybe I will even, no, this is pretty good. I'll just keep it like this. Now I basically just quickly adjusted it so that I'm a bit further down so it looks better, but you can do it however you like. So now we have that, of course, in here. Now we obviously wanted to come in from below. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work with keyframes again. Just do a keyframe here on position and then go a bit further and put another keyframe in. And now you can go to the first keyframe again and just drag it down. And you have to make sure the X thing stays zero so it doesn't move sideways. So now that we have that done, we can also enable this again. Um, just to look if it works. Yeah, I made a stupid mistake, but it's not that important. So now that we have that, we have that animation coming in. Of course, I want it a bit faster. So it's gonna look something like this. Now, when it comes in, we want obviously to put an effect on there. So it's kind of like, it feels more natural when there is like a motion blur on there. So that's what we're gonna do next. So first, what we want to do is click on this and click on show keyframe animation. Now this thing opens up. So now we want to click on the Y thing and click on this. And now you can see what we have here is the keyframes. So to make it more smooth, we're going to click on this keyframe right here and just put out a curve and the same thing with this one. And it's just going to be way more smooth. Now we're just going to click on this again and say hide keyframe. So now it looks something like this. So it kind of goes in faster and then slows out at the end. So yeah, that looks pretty good. Now to the effects. So now to do some motion blur on top of here, we want to just quickly go to a colored footage and just copy and paste that once again and make sure to align it. Now we have to cut this so that we get right to the keyframe can zoom in and then the same thing with the end it should be right at the keyframe so now we want to go on effects again um, and on lens we can find something called motion blur and here we have it so now we're just gonna drag this on top of here so now we have the effect added now we can of course uh, adjust it again so we were going to drag this down a little bit. So this looks, this looks pretty good. It kind of just disappears once this layer is gone. So we of course want to animate this. So what we want to do now is go in here onto this first keyframe 
and go to opacity and add a keyframe and then we will go to the last frame and add a keyframe and put the opacity to zero. So now this should look something like this. So this looks way more natural now. Now we can activate this again, but of course we don't want it to come in straight away because we have our footage here first. So this is what it looks right now. And now what we wanna do is of course have this come in smoothly. It kind of sucks now that I have some space up here, but otherwise it would have looked really bad. It's just bad quality I filmed this with, but you get what I mean. So now what we wanna do is animate this in, um, and what we can do is just go on animation, and then put a fade in animation. And that will look something like this. And now of course, if it was bigger, it would look like this. So you know it's coming in here talking and then the background is slowly coming in again so that's basically how you can edit the ali abdal style of course there are way more things to keep in mind but i think this is also great you can of course also do something like this for example i can make this less saturated or something if that looks better so yeah then the background is just less saturated you can play around with this but this is basically what we've done so far and I think this is just great. If you have better footage than me, you can absolutely craft something amazing with this and it looks good. So it's the little details that matter, but I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe, leave a like because I will have plenty more CapCut tutorials coming up to edit, for example, like Imangazi or other people. So stay tuned for that.